thank you pratik so as you already uh, say na that we are you know sitting here in uh, upper northern area where we see feel that uh, we had seen the you know hot air of maybe a 43 degree or 45 degree and we are feeling the cold air as well you know when you talk about the the crucial of the hvac is designed to adopt the your changing of the climate conditions we'll have to you know see many uh, things in that the first we can say are the weather uh, you know weather data integration the integration and current and the future climate data info system designed to you know anticipate the extreme weather events and adapt the hvac operation accordingly because whenever you are uh, you know if you see uh, this time we are uh, facing some problem in srinagar wherever we seen that the, the temperature is touching on 35 degree earlier if you see the after uh, you know before 10 years the uh, weather maximum touching on the 28 degree or 29 degree so we'll have to see the you know extreme weather events how we'll have to design the hvc conditions for next 10 years or 20 years to see the uh, weather conditions or maybe you can say the you know the another things like the air filtrations what is the air quality right the moment and what will be the air quality in coming 10 years or maybe 20 years enhance the air filtration and the purification system to migrate the airborne pollution during the events like you know wild earth or the dust storms as well so we'll have to design as a modular design system use modular design components or that can be you know quickly replaced like mr malkarjan said that they had replaced the building with a new building so we'll have to uh, see system like that we can replace the system quickly or upgrade the system in in case of the damage of system from extreme weather conditions or yes other system we can say you know the smart controls to utilize the uh, you know advanced control systems or that can be you know dynamically adjust hvac system based on the real time weather data or the building conditions or uh, you know when we talk about the uh, the community uh, resilience system wherever the level hvac system can be served in the multiple buildings improving all, overall community resilience that can be you know we can see the uh, hvac is designed to adopt the changing climate conditions or now you when you talk about you know the provide examples so i might be uh, you know again uh, say to dr balkar because when we talk about the peda building that is the building uh, which is basically a significant contribute to reducing the building's carbon footprints so if uh, uh, dr balkar tell uh, say uh, told about the building he can uh, much uh, better tell about the uh, carbon footprints in, in of peda buildings dr balkar are you there sir I think. Uh... Hello. So, Dr. Bhargav, can yeah. I ask you to, you know, tell about the uh, Peda building because I I had seen the Peda building as a, you know, uh, contributing reducing the building's carbon footprints uh, in case of HVAC system because that is, I think, a, a five-star rated building. Yes, we we have three. Uh... We reduce first uh, uh, energy consumption through uh, various uh, passive architecture, and uh, then we have reduced uh, the energy consumption uh, through the uh, energy efficient uh, devices. And uh, uh, we have used uh, wind tower over there, and uh, we have added uh, uh, air conditioning unit, which is a very efficient air conditioning unit. Uh, even less than 50% consumption is over there so i have not pictures um, some of the pictures over there because i retired on 2020 <laughs> so latest position i don't know about that so it is a energy efficient uh, um, uh, building uh, one of the energy efficient building even we, i can say in the country also and uh, people are uh, coming and students are coming to see and replicate the uh, system we have adopted over there so thank you very much for uh, uh, referring this peda building so that is all from my side uh, uh, dr pratik now over to you uh, thank you mukul ji and thank you balkar ji uh, for throwing light on uh, 
uh, on this topic. So uh, first of all, I 